All right, as we can see, <clears throat> I got today Gary Sugel's mouthpiece. It came to me in this box, completely nice and, nice and sealed by him. This is a tryout piece that he sent to me to try out. Very well packaged, as you can see. And I'm in my car because I just got in because I got to do a couple of errands. But when I saw the Gary Sugo box with the mouthpiece I ordered, I was happy. I was like a kid. Christmas came. Look, vel velvet. Uh, very nice of him. Very, very, very nice of him. Uh, this is a small thank you gift from Gary, which... I simply have the deepest respect for him and his mouthpiece. And there's so many uh, musicians that uh, that know him that have his mouthpieces. Unfortunately, I lost one of the best mouthpieces I had as it was stolen from me. And it was a great piece from Gary. Uh, let's see, this is the gift. And this is really nice. This is, this is something that really it's... It's nice. It's uh, it's a token he sent me for his mouthpieces, and yes, I will wear it. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate this. This is nice. I know you didn't have to do this, but I thank you for it. Thank you very much. This is very, very nice. Uh, I love it. Now, we're going to get to the mouthpieces. Here's the Gans 3 from Gary Sewell with the uh, bite plate. Bike plate is in excellent condition, if you can see this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that bike plate. There's absolutely nothing wrong. There is no, like, uh, residue or anything in the mouthpiece. I mean, technically, really look inside. I don't find it to have no type of residue. The rails look great. Excellent mouthpiece. I have no bad feelings about it it's a great piece i'll try it i know i will probably like it because i like his um his smile pieces that same feeling i push and the air became sound is here is my main piece now. Especially, he has great touch with his uh, with his um, overlaying of his. Uh, this is his, his trademark. Uh, this is one mouthpiece that was sent to me. And even though if I like it, uh, I probably can't keep them all. I mean, I wish I can keep them all, but they're expensive. But to me, they're they're great. They're worthwhile. Here's my number eight. JB by Gary Sewell. What an excellent mouthpiece with the duck bell. Look at the duck bell on this thing. Look at that. Where do you see any smudge there? I don't see any smudge there. Nice and clean. Look at the inside of this reel. That's a reel, you can see it pretty clear. That's one of Gary's trademarks. But look at the inside of that bathroom. Everything in there. There is absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with this mouthpiece. This mouthpiece is fine. 
is not, there is no dent, there is no um, impurities of the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is, is stunning. I, I can't wait to try it out. Thanks. This is this is beautiful. This is a 108. This is a JB. And again, Gary's signature. The plating on it is just, look at it. There's no defect to that. Really, look at it. How close up front. I like it. It's going to kill me. Because I know I'm probably going to want all these mouthpieces. And it's hard. It's hard to uh, not say no to his mouthpiece, especially me being a fan of him making mouthpieces. But I love him. You know? And nice pouch. Thanks, guy. I mean, I can keep my mouthpieces in here. This is very nice. Very nice gesture as well. Now I'm opening up the other one. No, I mean, no imperfections, no nothing. Look, look, look how detailed it is, how fine the rails and everything, everything is just so packed in there. It's, um, to me, it's, um, he does hell of a great job. His mouthpieces to me are outstanding. The ligature slider. There's no problem sliding it. Of course, you always have that little bit of pressure that's supposed to be there. So when you put the look at that, that slipped right out. That came right off. I don't see any imperfections on this mouthpiece whatsoever either. This mouthpiece is, I mean, I love it. There it is. I don't see no imperfections. There's no dents. As you can see, there's no dents. That is beautiful. It's beautiful. It'll take them three to four weeks to finish you a really nice piece. I mean, to me, he's worked with me. I've been patient with him. This is not the only mouthpiece I own. I own many of his mouthpieces. I own uh, the silver, uh, that, which is a very expensive mouthpiece. I mean... These are my favorite, the metal mouthpiece. I'm going to try that when he sent me. Gary, thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be getting in touch with you. So I will be trying these. And I will let you know, Gary, how they are. You know, you get what you pay for. You know, you pay for uh, a Rolex, you're going to get a Rolex. You pay for a BMW, you're going to pay for a BMW. And I'll work with him because he will work with you, you know. He's not that type of person. I'm sorry, but I just cannot do that, you know. And I recently received as a test, as a test, only as a test, a Barkley mouthpiece. Played it. I'm not happy with it. You know, I'm returning it back. This comes out, this comes from Brazil, that mouthpiece. It's Barkley. I asked for a Barkley because I wanted to try and see what it was like. It's not my mouthpiece, you know. I have auto links and I have Gary Shoes. My mostly used mouthpiece is Gary Shoes. So, and this is not, I'm not advertising for him. He is a hell of a mouthpiece maker and he's been around for years. So, thank you. you want it, you pay for it. You want something made good, you wait. If you send me something to try out, it's an unfinished product, I'm going to try it out. Okay, if I want it, I send it back. You finish the product out for me. All those mouthpieces will go to the Listerine. Okay, go into Listerine for a couple of seconds or minutes or whatever, five minutes, and then I'll test plane. What's the big deal? Anything that's sent to you over mail or overseas or wherever it came from, you should always disinfect. Especially now today at days with the COVID and anything going on. Does it, I don't even think it doesn't even matter about the COVID. It's the whole thing about anything that comes that you have to put in your mouth, you should always disinfect. That's my point. Thank you, Gary, for sending me these things. And 
I will call you and I will get in touch with you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You're the man.